Hi, and just today we are going to study the concept of one dimensional steady state heat conduction through a hollow sphere. So, suppose we have a sphere, the inside radius of the sphere is suppose R1, and the outer radius of the sphere is suppose R2. So, according to the Fourier's law of heat of conduction, we know Q is equal to negative Ka dt by dx. But in the case of the sphere, this formula gets modified into Q is equal to negative Ka dt by dr. So, rearranging this equation, we can write Q by A is equal to Q by A times dr is equal to negative K dt, where A is the surface area of the sphere. So we can write this equation as q upon 4 pi r square dr is equal to negative k dt. Now integrating this equation, so integration from r1 to r2 q upon 4 pi r square dr is equal to negative k integration from t1 to t2 dt. Now q upon 4 pi integration from r1 to r2 r to the power negative 2 dr is equal to k times t1 minus t2 so here we have q upon 4 pi r to the power negative 1 upon negative 1 from r1 to r2 which is equal to k times t1 minus t2 so q upon 4 pi minus 1 upon r2 plus 1 upon r1 which is equal to k times t1 minus t2 so we get q is equal to 4 pi r1 r2 k times t1 minus t2 divided by r2 minus r1 now we know according to ohm's law v is equal to i times r so V by R is equal to I, where V is the potential difference. Let's say that this is the equation number two, this is the equation number one. So comparing these two equations, we can write this equation number one as Q is equal to T1 minus T2 upon R2 minus R1 divided by 4 pi R1 R2 K. Where the denominator is called the thermal resistance for the sphere, which is equal to r2 minus r1 upon 4 pi r1 r2 times the thermal conductivity k now what we are gonna do is we are going to re re rewrite this equation so which is equal to r2 minus r1 divided by k times 4 pi r1 square times 4 pi r2 square inside the root which is equal to r2 minus r1 upon k times under root a1 times a2 which is again equal to r2 minus r1 upon k times ag where ag is the geometric mean area so ag is equal to under root a1 times a2 now what if we are meant to calculate the temperature at the distance r at the radius r let's say suppose here the temperature is t so we know our basic equation is q is equal to 4 pi r1 times r2 times thermal conductivity k times t1 minus t2 divided by r2 minus r1 which is equal to 4 pi r1 times r times thermal conductivity k times t1 minus t divided by r minus r1 so we can equate this equation so 4 pi r1 r2 times k t1 minus t2 divided by r2 minus r1 which is equal to 4 pi r1 times r times k t1 minus t divided by r minus r1 so 4 pi 4 pi will get cancelled r1 will get cancelled thermal conductivity will get cancelled 
so here we have r2 times t1 minus t2 divided by r2 minus r1 which is equal to r times t1 minus t divided by r minus r1 so we get t is equal to t1 minus r2 by r side the bracket r minus r1 divided by r2 minus r1 times t2 minus t1 so from this equation it is very clear that the temperature is the function of the radius r and the temperature distribution is hyperbolic now if we summary of all these basic geometries that q is equal to ka t1 minus t2 by thickness l for slab and for cylinder we have q is equal to 2 pi lk t1 minus t2 divided by ln of r2 by r1 for hollow cylinder and for spear we have q is equal to 4 pi r1 times r2 times k times t1 minus t2 divided by r2 minus r1 so in all the three equation we have thermal conductivity and temperature difference in the numerator of these equations so from these three equations it is very clear that the thermal conductivity k is proportional to 1 by the temperature difference delta t that means if we have two slabs here we have the temperature t1 and here we have temperature t2 so the temperature distribution will be like this and for this slab if you have temperature t1 and very low temperature t2 so the distribution will be like this and from this case the temperature difference is lower than this case so if the thermal conductivity of this slab is ka and the thermal conductivity of this slab is kb so as the temp as the temperature difference in this slab is less than the temperature difference of this slab so the thermal conductivity of ka will be greater than thermal conductivity of kb so this was all regarding to the one dimensional steady state heat conduction to the simple geometries and thank you for watching this video